Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Derek and today we're going to continue our Runekeeper here on update 18 Hotfix. So they put out a hotfix, I, I wasn't able to play for a few days. Put out a hotfix and fix some of the quests that we had a uh, problem with. By the time you see this, you know, those, uh, it's probably like, you're like, what? It's probably going to be a few few days before you see this episode. But yeah, they put out the hotfix so we can do this quest here. Uh, finally, so we're going to do that. Also, uh, the featured instant stuff, uh, I just I should have done more reading on this. So what you do is, you do, if you're not 105 yet, if you're 100 to 104, you do the featured quest, which by the time I record this is Sum of Ghoul, and uh, you do it, so for me, I'm level 103 now, because I've just done it, that's why we missed the level up there, sorry about that. But I didn't want to record it again since we already basically done an SG run. But we didn't get the reward. Well, if you run it for on level 100, for example, level 100 tier 1, you get the reward. If you're 100 to 104. If you're 105, you can do it as well. 100 to 104, you get the reward. But you also get the reward if you do it on 105. If you do it on 105, you get a better reward and you have the chance of the armor pieces. So I've just done it on 100. You get this gray box of ancient spoils, and if you open it, you get scrolls of empowerment, endless starlit crystals, and essence. That's what I've seen. So we got three scrolls of empowerment, which is honestly bad for us. We don't need anymore. You also get these long lost coins, which you can trade in for the new essence recipes. So you need uh, those quite a bit. Alrighty. Well, um, so we already got some XP because we done uh, that featured instance. So you want to do that featured instance twice a day. Once on level 100 and then once on level 105. Obviously once you reach level 105. And then the once on level 105 you know, gives you the better uh, rewards. Um, probably gonna talk about this a little bit more next week when there's a new featured instance and you know this guy's in 105 and everything. And then it will make more sense. But, you know, by the time this comes out, you guys probably already know what's going on. If not, that is what's going on. I'm probably going to do an extra separate video about this. Uh, are we... Oh, testing. I don't know why. Wow. That's why. The game is still super crashy, so it just crashed. Um, I don't know if that's just me with task items. That it just loads and takes forever. I don't know if it has to go for your whole history uh, of tasks. Like the more tasks you've done, um, the more the longer it takes to load. It's what I get to feel because it just it makes no sense that it would take so long unless it has to check your, your past tasks. Are we in window mode for some reason? Gotta change that for a second, that's why there's a black bar And sorry, I mean, that's just nothing I can do about that. Uh, we want full screen windows. Ah, uh, that's just gonna mess up. Alright, I guess I have to put in a cut here. And we're back. Sorry about that, that's just... Uh, task... I guess I have to do this off video. That's just problem right now. Alright, well... That's low to right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's unstable. At least for me, I don't know. If People have different experiences, but from what I know, I'm not alone with uh, crash issues. All right, so it's clear to me um, that we're not gonna make it to 105 on quests alone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy destiny points. I'm basically done. There's six, seven quests basically left that we can do uh, that are not repeatable. Um, we're not gonna make it. So what I will have to do later on is I'll have to like grind walk pants or something like that to uh, uh, get to max level. So I might as well, you know, just buy some bonus XP and get it done a little bit later. Well, get done a little bit more now. Um, other than you know having to heavily rely on 
um, doing walk pants over and over again. Have to do this. Ugh. Beacon Hills. Don't I have to like? Well, she, oh, that, that's the other problem we had with uh, with a breaker. But she's not in the Beacon Hills. She's like over there. Alright, we're just gonna meet with the ransom now. Well, we might as well do that warband. I mean, that's 200k right there. Um, so yeah, but the featured instance, which by the time I'm recording this is SD, you will get these lost coins that you need to craft the supreme essence. You get the recipes. You need. Um, well, you get the armor if you do it on 105, and you don't even have to do tier 2 or challenge, but you just have to do it on tier 1. So, tier 1 instances, you know, fine pugging. Tier 2, you know, you do need some people who know what they're doing. Oh my god, I'm just gonna dismount and take care of these guys. Tier 1, um, any group really should be able to do it. SG especially, that's no big deal. Hate that you start with so little life when you log in. I just want the rich scan because you do need the, the Zircon shards for leveling. Uh, leveling. Making the uh, one new 105 essence. Alrighty. So, but this, I, I love this. This is kind of what I always wanted and I complained about that instance, you know. Didn't give you the rewards like big battles. Now, instance has the reward to give you um, essence pieces. And I kind of find it disappointing that it's weekly and it only resets once a week. You can only do it twice, once on level 100 to 104, and then on uh, 105. Unless, of course, you spend mithril points, and then you can do it over and over again. So if you, you know, want to get lots of lost coins and essences fast, you'll just, you know, use mithril coins to reset the daily. Or you're like me, and you have too many characters and too many tunes, and you just do it over and over again. I mean, I think I ran SG out four times today already on different tunes. All right, we got a warband, 214k, pretty easy. We're gonna meet the ransom down there. And just to show you how to do it, so if we go up here, you could spend five mythical coins to reset it. I'm not, well, I only have four, <laughs> and I'm not gonna do that. Uh, mythical coins are quite expensive, actually. It's like a hundred mythical coins, it's like 20 bucks or something like that. If you get lucky, you can get them in the chest, but ugh. All right. So we're gonna finish this area. There's two quest chains that we really can follow. So this one, I already know that's the end of it. This one has quite a bit left. And then... So this one, yeah, this one has uh, quite a bit to it. It's like three, four follow-ups. But after that, we, we are done. That's all the quests in the new area. Yeah, apart from the uh, repeatables. Which... Ugh. That's right. Ugh. Repeatables is what you do, like, you know, if you farm rap, or you pick them up every day, and then if you get them, you get them. But, I mean, that's not how you level my. I, I, I don't like reveling like it. But it looks like, you know, if you, if you want, you can use. Oh, let's see what we got. Nothing good. You can use those wrap items to um, get essences as well, or you can just use them to you know, get your wrap up with the riders of Rohirrim. As far as I can tell, they don't drop from guys, so you have to do repeatables. But you know, I don't mind repeatables. Like, like, whoops, oops. I don't um, think they're bad. Some people enjoy them. And it gives some people stuff to do, and that's not a bad thing. That's just, you know, that's that's a game. All right, so we gotta go on, uh, meet the ransom now. See what he wants. Uh oh. All right, see Drew, blah 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 blah. Stolen for me. 
So we ain't gotta find something that was stolen by some other dude. Alright. Alright, we did. Fortunately, it's... Oh, we have to go back first? Ugh, and then we have to go back there. See, that's the problem with all the uh, running back and forth. You know what? Mm. Nah, let's do this one first. I was gonna say, we could uh, defend uh, Witherbreaker by teleporting. But then we are out in... Nah, let's do that, let's do that. Because if we do this... Uh, Witherbreaker, whatever his name is, is right down here. We teleport here. And I think once you click on him, he will take you back there and we can ride back in town and save us a little bit of time. But first, I have to turn on the light. Yeah, it's way too dark. There we go. Alright, game didn't crash. That's always a good sign. Wait, that's the wrong way. Starting to, you know, get a feel for out here, how it looks like. Any dailies that are going on? In here still? Just, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Um, well, if you meet two works, could do that. Okay, I gotta go out here. And then this time, you know, to fix the whole uh, issue, and we should get the ambush. What apparently what happened is that oftentimes if there was too many people there and too many different layers, uh, the trolls. Or the ambushes would spawn in a different layer and you wouldn't get them. Alright, stop hitting me with your stones. It's so annoying. Well, our fire should do uh, excellent damage against them. So it's gonna be, you know, three, four waves. A good amount. Up oh, there it is. Oh! No, no stones? Thank you, dudes. Perfect. That was it, and if you click on it, you, know, you lead it, and it will port you back. That's why I wanted to do it this way. Saves, you know, a few minutes. And no shield. Horseman keep shield. Yeah. Alright, we get, you know, stuff we don't care about. The end of this quest chain, and uh, we get what's more important, we get three of those rep items. Well, you know what, while we're here, we can first talk to him, and then also talk to him. Because both these guys are around here, so one guy is over here, the other guy is over there. Might as well talk to them. And uh, let's talk to him first, because I think that's an end quest as well. And there might be something else here. I, I remember. Alright. Let's go with that. Let's see if he wants anything else. Come on. Ah, oh, you can do it. There we go. Good horse. Ooh, you, you're living awfully close to that war camp of the Helmingas. We Alright. So, ah, we broke, of course. How long? Six seconds? Okay, that's not bad. Alright. Uh, is there a follow-up quest? There is. Have you seen the uh, Variaga? So, yeah, whatever. Enter the blockade, find a suitable place. Okay, no problem. I hate to say it, we're gonna need the XP. Oh, look at this, we already ate for that bonus XP. Uh, we're gonna need the XP. Um, we might as well feed the the, the warriors. <laughs> that quest is super easy. Give us you know, 100 something K. But there's no way you get to 105. Doing the quest, you will end up. Yeah, you know, I've done uh, two SG runs. That's a lot of XP. You and end up 103. I think maybe halfway. So I would use bonus XP if you have it. Um, XP accelerators. I don't know how well they work because all the quests are so far away. 
maybe in the beacon hills. I wouldn't do an XP accelerator in this area because it's just so spread out. Um, and hence X XP supply would work pretty well. You need something to get to 105. Or do war pens and sword halls, T1. Just for the quests. Now we gotta talk to. I travel to the summer of Amun Dim. And light the beacon anew. Where's Amun Dim? Right there. That's kinda on the way, I guess. Uh, we can do that. We uh, can uh, do that. Alright, let's get. Let's feed the, the riders first. It's. It's easy XP. I forgot, does it give us the rep items? You only have 27. I don't think it will give us the rep items. I'll find out. I, I, I remember. Gotta keep in mind that. Gotta keep in head. Gotta keep in mind that. Um, we lost a few minutes here when I look at the time. Stupid crashes. So yeah, it is nice that now you will see, you know, the featured instance. You will see people running it, and that's good. That's, you know, that's good. I I would appreciate. Uh, I would have liked more if it was every day a different one. But you know, they decided to go with the weekly, and you can do it. Also, you can do it every day. You can do it twice unless you buy different. Look, there's a kin member. You should always wave to kin members. Alright, let's feed the dudes. Yeah, it doesn't it only gives XP, but XP is what we need right now. Because if we get to 105, guess what? We can do um, SG on 105, and we have chance of getting the uh, featured instance armor, which is not brilliant. It's pretty good for the guard, but for the runekeeper, if I remember right, wasn't that wasn't the best. But for now we want to get to 105, maybe start doing the new instance stuff as well. Let's feed some dudes. So if you haven't done, if you haven't have your weapons up, you know, like I do all the way, um, doing that feature instance also will help you. Getting scores of empowerment, starlit crystals, uh, etc. So yeah, this is why you need those things because you can turn in, or you can actually turn it in for essences. That's interesting. What what kind of reputation do you need? Your standing is too low. Yeah, thank you. Doesn't tell me what standing I need. Huh? That's stupid. But yeah, you can uh, uh, trade in recipes. No, you can't. Just so this is just for essence. No, oh, that's interesting. That's good to know. I mean, just get us another way of getting uh, some essence pieces or essences. And we need one more rider, and then you know we got that quest done. Again, it's just you know, some quick XP. There we go. 132 XP for not much. And 700 reputation. Which... I'm gonna assume you need Kindred for that rep. It doesn't say what you need, but Kindred would make the most sense. Um, you know. It's an easy quest to do. It's got my air feeder, it's five minutes, you get some XP, you get some reputation. Alright, so this is the barricade that we have to uh, burn down or whatever. Uh, cause a distraction. Doesn't seem to be the end quest, seems to have like a item piece and uh, the essence box, so there might be another quest afterwards. Then these guys, there's uh, quite a few quests afterwards. Pretty leggy. 
Alright, so we're at a blockade. Uh, we just gotta find a suitable place. Let's just go in there and see what happens. I don't know what, what, what that means. Like in the tower? No. Is there a quest ring somewhere? Uh, that's like something glowing up this way. Oh, there you go. The, well, he does attack. Lies. Just says to do not attack. A dance. Let's dance in front of him. Hey, dude, I'm dancing in front of you. Seems to be dazed, <laughs> dazed with uh, confusion. Uh, I want to challenge him. Let's sh shake fist. Uh, it's one word. Oh, he didn't like that. Stand your ground. Ugh, for one minute. This is like a champion quest right here. Runekeeper, I do have a few more inductions. Is that it? More guys? Hey, how about you? I kill you. Two zircons. A lot of people asking for SG for those. You know, and I have. I have eight 100 characters. I can do it eight times if I wanted to. That was it? Alright. Alright guys, well, I think it's time to put a cut in here, uh, due to that stupid uh, crash. And then next time I'll, I'll be up here, so you don't have to watch me riding all the way up there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.